question. And basically it was, what would we do in terms of marketing if we had $1 million on the bank? So then a couple of ideas came up and it was actually very interesting to see what, what was it. So it was basically do more events more consistently. We should do um, grow the newsletter, grow the YouTube channel and like actually focus uh, uh, with more manpower on that. And also spend some money on ads. And we never did that before, like just a, I don't know, bunch of hundred dollars, right? But never like really going for it. What I learned from that meeting was, you don't need that $1 million. A couple uh, thousand dollars is all right for that. You just need that big number to think about, but then you can just break it down, right? You don't have to hire a newsletter specialist right away. You can just do uh, one or two times a week a newsletter update call with a pe person who usually works on newsletter and make it a little bit more priority. And same with um, growing the newsletter. You don't need a million dollars. You just need maybe $1,000. Uh, you can try to put in ads and then you'll see what's, what's going to happen. Uh -huh. Annual revenue, it's fucking hard, man. <laughs> it's so, it's so tough. <laughs> Don't so touch what, the charm. Yeah, so, so what's happening now is, what's happening today is we're shooting some ads for the newsletter. I just told you the story, what's gonna happen. So um, for me, it's always tough to speak in front of camera, especially if it's in English, and it, it needs always like 10, 15 minutes to get in, but then it gets easier. And yeah, I'm excited. Now I run a video agency with $1 million annual revenue. Check out my blueprint here. One take, man. One take. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so here's a, a hack where you can get the most for your money. Works at Chipotle and basically everywhere where you put in the stuff one after another. Just tell the uh, person at the counter to do it slow. Like, I want cheese. I want rice. <laughs> oh. I want lettuce. Then wait. Do you want anything else? Tomatoes. Uh, and then tomatoes. And so so then they can't calculate how much they gonna put in there and they always take a full scoop. We arrived at the location. So this is Paulana Sunset. It's the pop, most popular soda in Germany and they're just expanding to the United States. So very happy here. They have a really really cool space, an event space like their showroom. And uh, yeah, that's where we're gonna have the event tonight. So this is a spot that's their laboratory and this is the magic juice. Uh, Paulana Sunset. Gonna definitely check it out here. My favorite version is the uh, Sunset Zero in cans. Um, yeah, so this is where everything's gonna happen. And maybe we can do a cool thing where it snaps and at some point everything's full. Nice Three, cut. two, one. Um. What do you do right now uh, before the live? Uh, so I'm setting up the background videos. I learned this when we did uh, events with Red Bull. They always had like TVs with cool videos from the previous event uh, running. And so the same thing we're doing here. Um, so it's like one of the BDX videos we did. Um, we have uh, some videos of New Trend Society with cool, funny, moving logos. And uh, yeah, a lot of cool stuff. I think it's all about the details so it all comes down to the details whether if it's uh, like a small led sign whether if it's a ping pong table or like the um, the clothing of nts i think people really get that and uh, yeah i love i love to to be uh, to, to be cautious about the details here do you feel like you're nervous or you've done this enough times uh i've done it a couple times but uh there's always a little bit of uh yeah excitement and no I'm always a little bit nervous but it, I think it's good um, if you won't be nervous then most of the time you don't make sure it's gonna be really really good so I need that kind of pressure and tension Anton is one of the co-founders of uh, Paulana Sunset good. it's been like a year now which is crazy okay time is fine but... so one part of my pre-event routine is always <laughs> getting dressed <laughs> and brush my teeth. <laughs> uh, when you spend the whole day setting up an event, you always think <laughs> and you're always done and sweaty. Uh, but I think when people start showing up, it's nice to be fresh with a fresh mindset. That's kind of like my pre 
yeah, pre-event routine. I get changed, I get dressed up, I make myself a home and I just get comfortable with everything that's happened because during the event you can't do, um, you can't change anything. You're just in the tunnel and it just starts. Thank you. Have a good one. Bye. You too. Very excited. Lots of people showed up. We're out here in Venice Beach, California and ready to roll. love that I actually like and uh, there was a lot of photography in the beginning um, I did so many uh, analog photos uh, throughout this year I haven't posted that much of these but that's what I what I really love um, yeah creating moments that matter to me and if they matter to somebody else that's nice but they don't have necessarily have to thank you everybody for tuning in to the new trend society podcast out here with palana sunset in venice los angeles california very very happy <laughs> <laughs>